huge for us, but I think more importantly, it's huge for our survivors, for the victims of sexual assault. It's less turnaround time to get resolution and to get closure or justice. Columbus police are actively investigating more than 1,000 reports of sexual violence. It's a demand they are struggling to keep up with, but new at five, they are hoping a grant will help. $350,000 is going to the Columbus Police Sexual Assault Unit. With thank you for joining us for NBC4 at five, I'm Jennifer Bullock. I'm Jared Smalley. The goal is to get evidence processed faster. Yeah, NBC4 investigates Isabel Cleary joins us now with details. Isabel? Yeah, Jen, Jared, right now there are more than 600 sexual assault kits in evidence waiting to be tested. CPD is hoping to bring that number down. The path to justice for survivors often starts at the hospital. Someone comes in for help and forensic nurses walk them through a personalized process that could include a sexual assault kit. This funding will send 175 kits to VCI to be tested. The goal is to get leads faster, which hopefully ends with prosecution. Right now, it could take months to get answers. And it varies depending on the priority of the case. So we have a known suspect versus a stranger versus a serial case versus um, whatever may, else may categorize that prioritization. While detectives work to solve cases, SARNCO, Ohio Health Sexual Assault Response Network, provides support for survivors. If this happens to you, you can come into the hospital and we can give you all of your options and then you can make that informed decision for what you want to do. Forensic nurse coordinator Leslie Potterton walked me through what that kit looks like. So inside of the kit are the bags if we collect clothing. Each envelope has a swab to collect evidence to send to police. Even if you're not sure that you want to have the kit collected or you're not sure you want to talk to police, we can go through all those options with you and find out what's best for you in this healing process. Those kits are the ones that are backlogged. In order to get these done quicker, we found the grant that we could send some of these kits out to BCI for assistance in order to reduce the total amount of kits that we have in our crime lab. In 2023, Sarnco helped more than 2,000 survivors. So far this year, it's close to 1,500. I do think there has been an increase, especially post-COVID. We've seen our numbers increase. I believe this year we've seen over 500 patients so far in the hospital setting. While Columbus Police and Sarnco have different focuses, they both want to make sure survivors feel safe, supported, and get the help they need. You don't have to keep it to yourself. You don't have to, you know, suffer in silence. Sarnco also provides aftercare advocacy beyond just the hospital or helpline. This can include emotional support, help with police or even in the courtroom. If you or a loved one needs help, we have resources linked on our website, NBC4i.com.